Well, good evening, everybody. Sorry, just making you a bit dizzy there with. Um, mm -hmm. Let's get that refocused. Um, how's everyone doing tonight? Um, for those of you who um, are first time watching, my name is Kelly Farley. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Hi, Andrea. Based in Papakura, Auckland, New Zealand. Um, and we're going to do this little pop-up card tonight. Um, hi, Sandra. Hi, Lisa. Um, so it's um, it's got like a, a base at the bottom there where you can pop your card. And then um, to send it, it just folds up really nicely like that and fits into a normal envelope. Oh, good on you, Lisa. Hi, Alison. I can, like, I, I get that. I was driving home from Dropping Piper at Dancing and felt like I could go to sleep. Just had dinner, so I've got, got a, a bit of a second wind. Um, okay, so this is our card we've got here. So it just slides down really nicely, and then you can have it to stand. I've used um, the Amazing Silhouettes, which is, um, in the January to June catalogue, and it actually is carrying over. Hippie. Uh, no ladybirds this week, no, this time. Um, and then just use the biggest wish stamp set for the sentiment so you've got space to write on there if you want to. Or you could write on here. You do want to, um, when you do it, let me just get myself into, a, into how it should work. Why have what I've done there? Um, you know, you could write here and here as well if you wanted to, or leave those blank and write on here. Judy is watching too. Thank you, Judy. I appreciate that. Very kind comment. Um, speaking of very kind comments, I just got delivered the mail. Matt picked it up and yeah. Uh, so I've really just got home. So I just thought I'd show this because she's not watching now, but she will be watching later on. Thanks to Lisa. Um, so this gorgeous card arrived in my post today, um, all the way from Riverton in Invercargill. So it's a cute little handbag um, that has a nice little latch thing there that um, opens up and so this is from Sally so thank you very much Sally for your, your gorgeous card and for your very kind words about my videos I really appreciate them and I'm glad that you enjoy watching them so um, thank you very much thank you also for sending Lisa your cards so that we can all see what you make as well um, so it's, it's very cute it's, um, it's a very cool card alright so um, let's not hold you up. So we've got a piece of cardstock which is uh, A4 and half lengthways. I will, I'll give you the measurements for that, but I just didn't, couldn't, my brain just wouldn't focus on what I was doing. So, um, so it is actually um, four and an eighth across the top, and it's actually trimmed down to 11 you could make it the full length of the A4 if you want. You just have to adjust your scoring, and my brain didn't like doing that, so I, le I left it at 11. Um, you could just make it so that these pieces are a little bit longer, which would, yeah, it, because it's an odd number, um, it just makes it a little bit annoying and fiddly so I just left it as 11 and you know the extra little bit that you cut off can be used as part of your decoration or sentiment anyway okay so we're gonna we've got one of these then there's lots of pieces in this because I've done a few layers um so your main piece that you need is um two and three quarters by five and a half then I've chosen to do um an accent layer on here which is two and a half by five and a quarter and then this one here which is what I will stamp on is two and a quarter by five and then on the back here 
which is why it is possibly sticking a little bit anyway. Um, on the back here is two and three quarters by five and a uh, by five and a quarter. Two and a half by five and a quarter. So these two pieces here are the same size. If you didn't want to do three layers like I have here, um, just make this piece, this in, your second piece here, the same, the two pieces the same as the back one. Hi, Glennis. I hope you're feeling better. Um, okay, so then we've got a piece that, uh, two pieces that are to decorate the top. They are one and a half by four. And then another piece, which I ended up, put mine on the wrong way. Um, so note to self decorate after you've put it together um so to make sure to get it the right way so i've on this card it, i've got two pieces i didn't stamp this one because i realized afterwards so i did put on the instructions two pieces so that you can um decorate the front here and the back um so i think i've only cut myself oh no there's my other one i have cut myself too so they're three quarters wide by four long okay um and that is it with your materials. Um, so, scoring. I'm going to score at one inch. One inch. And then two and three quarters. Make sure it's nice and flat against the side. Three and three quarters. Thinking out. What was that? Sorry. Three and three and three quarters. Hang on. Where are we going? One, two and three quarters. I just pushed it down too far. Three and three quarters. Five and a half. Seven and a quarter. Um, eight and a quarter. Oops, gone too far. I'm too, too excited. And ten. Everyone's very quiet. Hope everyone's doing well. We are getting our new oven and hob installed today, and the oven's in, and the hob don't fit. Oops. Um. Okay. No, I didn't trim mine off at 11. I was going to say, oh, I've done something wrong yet. But what I have done is not actually cut it at 11. So my last end, my last score piece. That's what happens when you think you're super, really, super organised and you're not. You start to keep seeking it yourself. Okay, so we are going to fold all our score lines and they're all going to go all the same way, but we will burnish them both ways. Oh, what happened there? Well, not a very strong score mark. That's okay, we will cover that with decorating. Oh, my scoring. Tom mustn't be in the track properly because it's not scoring very well. Notice, um, I say that the trimmer isn't scoring very well, not carry isn't scoring very well. I think that's probably the correct the correct problem is that Kelly is not scoring very well. Um, okay. Um, so last time on Sunday, um, there were quite a few people interested in a class using the ladybug bundle that we've currently got which is exciting because it's been carried over um so i've been thinking about that and i know a lot, recently a lot of people have purchased that so i'm going to do a class for those who are interested and it can be a class by mail uh, which means that i will cut all of the card kits for you and um it will be a kit that you purchase 
the stamp set and punch so then you'll be able to make the cards using the same stamps if you want to um so um if anyone's interested i'm going to post the details shortly in an event but i will also put some information about it if it's a class by mail um that you're wanting to do and then i can order the products and get them all sent out um yeah and then i will also it will also run as a in-person class so i'll do some videos for the people that are wanting it as an online class and if you're wanting to come in person if you already have the stamp set there'll be a class fee for that if you don't have the stamp set it will be a class fee including the, the stamp set and punch so that you've got that yourself to work with at the class um and then if fingers crossed that it does not happen but you know if we go into lockdown then we're all sweet because um everything you'll have all the products and you won't need to worry about it so you just have the videos to do it um so now we are putting our cut now that we've got all our score lines burnished and they're easy to see um we're going to pop it back in and i've got mine so that um it's i don't know if you can see this but it's kind of curved as that's the way that i folded it i'm going to pop this back in at the five and a half inch excuse me score mark <coughs> um and we're going to score from half an inch on the left hand side and we want to come in half an inch on the um, right hand side too which is around the um three and five eighths mark um so there so if you pop your if you pop your blade I need my glasses sorry 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 should have had them on already and I don't want to get my head in there either but if I get my if I get my blade in the right place then that's going to be easier I can just reline up my so we're going to go from half and then as it is because it is four and an eighth we're going to come in two four and come to there so it's the net it's you've got the half inch there and then it is the next big one from there from after the three and a half so we're going to pop that back in i've got my blade there at the half inch going to come back and measure that at five and a half lock my trimmer in place and then so if you wanted to if it's easier for you to find it and put your trimmer blade in there in fact actually if it's easier stop your trimmer at three and a half or just slightly after it it's not going to be you're not gonna it's not gonna be a massively huge note um distance what i did last time is i just wriggled it so i don't know if you can see there's this um score there's your cut line and there's your score line i just wriggled it slightly up and then i've gone back i don't know if it's gonna do what i did before but i just wanted a little bit wider of a slit because i have um because i've got three layers on here so it just kind of opens the gap up a little bit it's not a massive amount mm -hmm. you can try it first as it is and see if you prefer it like that and if you want to add the extra slit in later on you can do that too so we're going to pop that there like that um this piece here is going to be our back and our front sorry and the bigger piece is our back then I'm also move that out of the way. I'm also going to stamp those pieces, which are um, so I'm going to pop these up here. I'm going to do all the stamping at the same time. Um, got my blocks. class on monday night and i haven't put my stuff away so um mm, mm, mm. i've got i'm using bermuda bay and pool party so i'm going to do 
some tone on tone stamping with that. And I've got, I might do the little leaf thingy me, because that's a bit cute. Um, and why not? Something a bit different. I, as we all know, I love butterflies, so you know that seems to be my go-to when there's one in the stamp set. So I will, I will branch out and use something different. And this um, biggest wish stamp set. Um, what stamp? What are? Maybe friend and. I might use that one too. And I want the, I want the little hello, that one there. It's, um, okay, so I'm going to do hello friend on there. Um, I'm going to start with stamping this. Hmm, I did Bermuda Bay with the other one. I might use Paul Party. So, my pool party might need re ink. Let's test it. Yes, it does. So, let's go be my bag. That needs a re ink too, but we'll, we'll go with it. So, I'm actually going to put these on an angle. I want to get a really good, because my ink's a bit dry, so I want to get a really good pressure on that. And maybe that way. Yeah. There. Oh, my God. That's right. I have a magic side. Pressing too hard on my stamp pad and then not in, then must have rocked my stamp. That's all right. And let's just do it the same way. Press down. It was funny just after my brother made that for me. I used it in a video and he took a screenshot of me. Um, pressing down on my stamp really hard with my hand and <laughs> send a screenshot and said, this would have been a good place for you to use your stamp press. I was like, oh yeah, cheers for that, Dirk. Really helpful. Nice to know that you're watching. All right, so I'm going to stamp in full. <laughs> I think I think that's just like it's funny I say to the kids at school it's all right your paper's magic you can just turn it over and it's got another side and they look at me like I'm bonkers um all right so I'm going to put the full strength friend there and I'm going to use the hello in the same color just because my pool party's a little bit naff and I'm going to do a lighter tone there just so it kind of breaks it up from the same thing and then uh, hmm, I don't think I'll put that on there like I did last time so and now I'm just going to decorate these and I'm going to pop them all together as close as I can and then I'm just going to randomly, as random as I can do it, I don't know that it's random, stamp, whoops, and then I might just kind of stamp there, stamp off there. Okay, so not going to be close together so it's not I should have gone like that but anyway that's okay it's a handmade card right stamps out of the way before I put my nice clean card stuff on it move these out of the way now if you wanted to you could um layer up these front layers as well uh 
I I just automatically it's weird I go automatically to white to stamp on or vanilla um but you could easily pop you know do these colors and pop the white behind it um it would look super cool so glue I'm just going to glue these pieces together one yes make sure if you've turned it over you're gluing the right side because that would be something that Kelly would do I love teaching you what not to do and being helpful when I make all those mistakes um, so we had a lovely class on Wednesday we used the Happy Hedgehogs, and they were, they were actually super cute. They were ones that I was not really sure about. Okay, so I'm going to pop these on. We're going to put the thinner ones here and the thicker ones right next to the slot, like that. And then this one is going to go, I'm going to turn that around actually. I might turn that around so that they're facing. Yeah. And just put some glue on with this kind of center. I might have cut that one a bit small. Oh, that might have been for my friend thing. Never mind. Make it up as we go along. Because that's how the best cards are created, created just by playing around. And there we go. So all of those four, remember to make sure that they are, um, have a chance to tack down properly before you kind of smooth over them. And come hands. So how this is going to go together is you need these two flaps here. And they're going to be folded in and they are going to meet up and come in together all right so that means that these parts are all kind of sitting so it makes a box like that so what we need to do is we need to feed our so you want to make sure that this is the facing the right way i might go this way because it's a bit darker and we're going to just slide our piece into the middle there okay I've, I use some double-sided tape, uh, tear and tape. Um, you could use glue. You just are going to have to be prepared to hold that together for a little bit longer. Um, so for the sake of doing it on video, um, I'm going to use tape again to speed the process up for you because I've just seen the time. Um, some lovely cards in box, card in a box, um, cards that were shared um, on the page thank you for giving it a go ladies they all were beautiful uh, so I think there's five people tonight in the draw exciting um, all right don't don't put your tape away too soon because you're going to need it again so this time what's going to happen is you're going to bring your piece as far through as you can you've still got a little bit poking out at the top there sorry I just realized I've moved out of camera you're going to line this up so that it lines up with the bottom once you've got this flap folded underneath all right so this um, pop-up piece is actually attached to this um, join piece so using excuse me dinner is repeating on me uh, using our take pick tool I'm going to take off the tape, stab yourself, don't do that, hurts. So let's make sure that this is really securely and sticky. So you want to make sure, wait in the, yep, you want to make sure that you're centered as much as possible just by eyeballing it. I don't know if eyeballing it is a good idea for me, but anyway. That looks fairly well centered. We're lining it up with the bottom piece where that tape is. 
and we're just going to press that down so that now is stuck to the bottom piece that you've flipped inside now your I prefer you don't have to I prefer to add another couple of bits of tape across the front layer and make sure that you're not going any higher than where your um, tab is coming up and there not lifting up so I'm going to use this okay so now when we stick this down it's just you, it just gives you hi Maureen how are you um it just gives everybody every, it just gives a little bit more strength too so you take the top pieces off you're going to lie this flat and you, this your um pop up is stuck into your slit if it's not put it back in and then you're just going to fold that top flap back on itself so that the adhesive is on the inside and then just fold your card in half and it should meet at the bottom hmm. she says oh good I'm pleased to hear that Maureen and then when it's complete together it will sit flat like that so you've got this little tab here inside and then um, you can just gently push down on your uh, yeah gone too far no not far enough there we go it'll stop on the lip so that's another reason that it's a nice high uh, piece and then that is your card your pop-up card so when you post it and you give it to someone it just slides up like that you might if people aren't used to those sorts of things you might want to put a little post-it note that says slide down here and then you've got your card with your message at the back which sits really nicely on any table actually quite sturdy probably won't get knocked down by um, a light breeze but a heavy wind it might so these are the two different ones same colorway same stamp set just a different stamp and um, decoration on there. Now, bling would be um, great. I didn't put any in my basket to bring tonight, but um, you could put some bling on there quite easily. Okay, so I'll pop a card, I'll pop a picture up for you to have a go. Uh, the materials are listed on the page. Um, I don't know that I've done these so I'll hold that there for a few minutes not minutes maybe I'll just hold it there for a little while and um, that you can when you um, go to make a card you can refer it to that I know it's at the end but um, you know you can scooch to the end write them down and then go back if you want to um, or you can just listen as I'm as I'm demonstrating it so um tonight we have five five lovelies i just need to turn my camera never seem to get the stand in the same place here we go that looks a little bit crooked but i'm sure you guys will be fine um andrea sandra allison glennis and sally thank you so much for um plan along and sharing your cards much appreciated um good luck ladies i'm going to spin this because it's now eight o'clock i don't want to keep you too long and andrea congratulations andrea oh i just sent your paper yeah i just sent your paper should have held on to it um all righty thank you very much ladies that was um it was lovely to have you here hopefully you're um hopefully you'll give it a go this lovely card nice and easy to slide okay 
look forward to seeing your creations and um, I will pop up some information on my page about the ladybug class if anyone is interested either in person or class by mail um it will um class by mail <laughs> um class by mail will be inclusive of the stamp set and then it will be um the materials i will cut the materials to go with it um if it is an in-person class you and you don't have the bundle then um that will be included in the class fee if you do hand the bundle there'll be another option for you just to for the class okay have a lovely week um we're counting down we've got six seven seven one two six more days of school till the holidays six days till easter for everybody so have um a relaxing end of the week lovely weekend and i'll see you on sunday night Take care, bye.